So I don't know about every country, but in the UK, Christmas is a pretty big deal. I've spent most of my life living in rural Britain on the Isle of Wight, and if there's one thing you can say about the island, it's that we either don't do anything at all, or we do it, like, completely over the top. Since I arrived in South Korea, I didn't really notice any Christmas decorations anywhere, like, not even a single Christmas tree. If you're wondering about my framing, the acoustics in my apartment are absolutely terrible, and I figured the best way to get half decent audio is just to record out of my wardrobe. Anyway, that's besides the point. Every year on the island you see some streets that are basically empty, and then you walk around a corner and see a house that's so ridiculously over the top that Santa himself would blush. So in this video I want to show you some examples of some of the crazy over the top Christmas decorations that you can see in my home island on the Isle of Wight. Also in this video I have my buddy Fredwood with me and we go to Busy Bee which is basically an island national treasure and it's like the ultimate Christmas store and it's really cool. There's actually a Christmas tour on the island where lots of homeowners basically patch together, put like crazy decorations up and they raise money for charity. Though I only visited one of these, I didn't go inside, I just looked from the outside because I'm too poor to actually go into these places because I can barely afford food. Another nice thing about the island is that the towns themselves, like the councils, actually put up a lot of decorations themselves. So there's like trees lining the streets, you can see them on like the lampposts as you walk down, there's decorations hanging over the roads, there are big Christmas trees in all the town squares, which is really cool. Also, the people on the island are really friendly and usually proud of the decorations. One of the houses I was recording for this video, the owner noticed me with the camera and she was like, oh, what are you doing with a camera outside my house? And I was like, oh, I just thought your decorations are really cool, so I wanted to get like a bit of um, footage for a video. And she said, oh, well, like on, like, what for? And I said, oh, like, the inter like YouTube. Um, she was like, oh, that's cool. And she was really happy and friendly to talk. Um, so it was really cool. Do you get any crazy over-the-top Christmas decorations where you live, like some of the houses I've shown off in this video, or do you have some that are even crazier that you've seen this year? Please let me know in the comments below. I would like to see if you've got some things as crazy as some of the places that I've seen down here, because I think we have some really cool decorations down here, so if you've got some as well, I want to see them. So we're going to move on to Busy Bee with my boy Fred, who I popped down to with on the island before I left. Busy Bee is like the ultimate Christmas store on the Isle of Wight, and my friend William describes it as a national treasure. It's an awesome Christmas store where they sell all sorts of Christmassy, like they sell Christmas trees and decorations, and they also have displays and stuff like that just for people to go and look around. So a lot of people go there just to really look around and not even buy things because it looks really cool. Oh, here we go, look at him. You're such a woman, Fred. Fred's got a little thing for like scented candles. Campfire apples. Oh wow, that is fancy. It's campfire and apple too. Whoa, that is sweet. Oh wow, it is. You know, Fred, I'm pretty sure it's like we're meant to be here for like the Christmas stuff, and Fred's just like scented candles and colouring books. Sun drenched apricot rose. Why have they got so much more like Yankee candles than Yankee candle do? What even is that? Vanilla and lime. It's weird how you just keep going back to it then. I'm gonna be here a while actually, so you can probably like. Oh my fuck, are you serious, down. Fred? <laughs> There's so many. Get <laughs> You're such a woman, Fred. All right, well, we're going to leave Fred with his candles and we're going to try and find the Christmas section. So yeah, this is Busy Bee. This is basically, it's a massive garden store on the island. Um, and I, I usually come here just once a year at Christmas pretty much. And that's pretty much it. Um, but it's amazing. Oh my god, the sheer number of Santas. <clears throat> oh my god. Drop off your Santa mail here. Hello, can you let us for Santa? Ah! <laughs> I didn't even realise you were there, Fred. <laughs> Did you have fun with your uh, scented candles there, Fred? 
It's like the sheer amount of tinsel. If you ever want to buy tinsel, you just go straight to Busy Bee. <laughs> I like tinsel. There we go, it's the Christmas trees. This what? It's by Mr. Tickle. Mr. Tickle? Hello, children. Do you miss the tickle? Do you know who Mr. Tickle is? No. You're a shit child. He's always abusing me. <laughs> what? Why? This guy's got a sword. Right, that's not right. This guy's tearing up the Christmas presents. <laughs> this guy in the back's a meth dealer. Oh wow. That's a fancy tree. It spins. It is a little bit less exotic this year, is isn't cool? it? Oh, what have we got here? Grandma. Bones with the too big of a hat. This one's <laughs> It's like the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah. It's like I'm just losing Fred. Oh, of course you go to the diffusers next, Fred, for God's sake. We've got the Christmas trees with lights now. It's one of the best. What? What? Fred, there's usually a section with like loads of Christmas trees with lights and everything. They say it's like COVID and you shouldn't touch things, but who can resist touching a plasma ball, really? Oh, yes. Nobody can ever resist touching a plasma ball. <laughs> Off goes Fred. Have you never touched a plasma ball, Fred? Hold on. Harla shite. Hmm? Harla shite. Harla shite. Oh, it's good. Okay guys, so thank you for watching and Merry Christmas. It is still Christmas. I actually edited this video Christmas morning and I'm trying to get it up for the afternoon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Busy Bee was a bit underwhelming this year, but I just wanted to show off some of the stuff from the Christmas decorations in the UK, especially since Korea really doesn't have any decorations anywhere. So I thought even the modest decorations we have um, are better than nothing. After this, I've got my I've got a video about me leaving the UK, my trip to Korea and a quarantine vlog. And then after that, I'm going to be making videos about living in the Korean countryside, similar to where I was living in the UK, being a very rural area. So I hope you guys are going to appreciate my insights into living in Korea because I know nothing about Korea. So I'm going to be discovering it from scratch. I want to just share those experiences with you guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.